Hi, welcome back to the Organizing Tip of the Day. It's Sunday, but I'm blogging today anyways because I'm doing, I just finished my meal planning. So I wanted to show you, and I'm loving my new binder system. Wow, it's making meal planning so much better. So I'm going to quickly show you my new binder system and probably do maybe a binder a day. And today we'll do my recipe binder. So here we go. Um, I just used some... Like I just stuck in a piece of paper, it's old scrapbooking paper, and then some stickers from the dollar store, of course. Scrapbooking stickers from the dollar store. It doesn't look fantastic, but it's better than the plain old boring weight binders, and it literally took me just a few minutes. I was rushing, so I just threw them on there. So it really makes such an efficient use of that space. I'm totally geeked about it. So I have one for crafts, one for recipes, one for my family notebook, one for Izzy, and one for Abby. So I'm just going to show you my recipes, which is so much better than the box, and I'm going to show you why. Inside, I keep all my, the grocery list and my menu planning sheet in there, along with white, um, yellow post-its, and I'm going to show you in a second why. So what I did, it took about a half an hour, but I used these clear plastic sleeves, and I just slid all my recipes in. I put all my breakfast recipes in the front, then we have appetizers, then we have entrees, then we have sides, and we have desserts. It looks like that's it. And then my some recipe books that I haven't actually gone through in the back, I just slid in the back. So all of the recipes here are the tried and true ones that I've tried and I love. So I put them in here. Not ones that I haven't tried yet. I just will print them off of allrecipes.com. That's the website I really, really like is allrecipes.com. So if I want to try something new, I'll look up a recipe on altrecipes.com, and then if I like it, I'll pr like I'll print it off and I'll put it in my recipe binder, no longer a box. So also if I see one in a in a cookbook or something that I like, and when we try it, and my family really likes it, I'll rip it out or photocopy it and put it in here. So only the ones that are tried and tested and loved go in my binder. So what I did was I looked through. Um, what we had in the freezer. We had chicken. So then I flipped through to my chicken section and saw uh, Italian chicken. And I'm like, I never went through the binder before, the box before, but now that it's here, I'm like, oh, that sounds good. And I have everything on the list. So I stuck a sticky note that Sunday. Then, of course, tomorrow we're having chili and then we're having fish and then we're having pork. I, we have pork in the freezer. So I flipped to the pork section and found a great pork recipe that I love, and I just stuck a sticky note for Wednesday. So then on the day, I can just flip out the binder, and I have a sticky note. So I did all my meal planning today, and I put sticky notes on the ones. Yeah, and I'm totally geeked about it. I'm really, really, really loving this system. And if I need something that's on the recipe that I don't have, I can just write it in the shopping list and make sure I get it before the day. So this is working so amazingly great. If you don't have a binder system for your recipes, I totally, totally recommend getting one. It's going to make my meal planning, which I'm just starting to really get into, makes my life a lot easier, but this is going to make my meal planning so much better, and I'm not going to be stuck with the same old boring recipes that I always go to. Ground beef. Oh, I'm going to make spaghetti. Well, not anymore. Now I can go to the ground beef section and maybe get a little creative, right? So, loving this binder. Just use an old binder. Bought some plastic sleeves. Cost me, you know, a couple of dollars. And it's going to save me a ton of time and make my meal, like meal planning and cooking dinner so much better. So, that's your tip of the day. We'll see you next time.